hello there. This is going to be a general love reading for all signs. Let me just take a little sip of this. This is vitamin water, but it's the raspberry dark chocolate. It's a love one. See that? Because love is in the air everywhere I look around. Mm. It sure is. Hmm, what are we gonna get into? I think we're going Oracle first. Exotic, that keeps coming up. Cause something is fascinating. You know, if you were to look up the definition of exotic, it literally means that, right? It means like strange, fascinating, um, different. And obviously exotic could be foreign, right? So there could be some sort of foreign connection here um, foreign travel or something of the sort, but it gives me the vibe of like something strange and fascinating. Someone might find you fascinating. You're different. There's like this um, mysticism around this, right? Like a mystery around this energy. They might think you're very mysterious. You have an aura of mystery around you. Friendship. <gasps> oh my god. Friendship. I mean, because that's his because it's we already know that goddamn tale is old as time. You know exactly what's gonna happen. <laughs> it's friends into lovers, it's platonic and business into romance. It's it you already know. Somebody wants to be more than friends. They find you to be very it's it's a different connection healer somebody here has a healing hand somebody identifies as a spiritual healer but when you look at the card i mean all i hear in my head is elvis presley take my hand take my whole life to someone's falling in love it's fools rush in you've pampered this person's gonna cater to you. They're gonna treat you like a goddess, like a queen, like a king. But there's something here about somebody. <sighs> Falling in love. Yes way, Rose. Infatuated. Yeah, yeah, you not infatuated with your friend, are you? That'd be kind of weird. It'd be very single, white, female-ish, the movie. Someone here is in, that, that's why it's, it, it's why it's exotic and it's strange and fascinating because someone here is like, I don't understand why I feel like this. Why do I feel like this for someone who's my friend or this business associate or this coworker? And the infatuated is, is consumed. Someone is consumed by this. Right? Borders obsession. They're infatuated by you and the connection. And that keeps coming up. Yesterday's reading was all about that. Very infatuated and obsessed with the connection. <sighs> There's this mystery around it that they, that they can't put their finger on, right? They can't, it's like a mystery they can't solve. Now, whether that's because you're the mystery they can't solve? I don't know, but there's like a mystery to this. Coffee date, and I told you, they don't wanna be your fucking friend. Now, can you go on coffee dates with friends? Yes, but this person doesn't wanna be your fucking friend. Fantasizing. I mean, do you fantasize about your friends? If you do, bitch, that's weird. We don't fantasize about our friends. Because then clearly, what would that mean? That means you don't want them as your friend. You don't want them to just be platonic in business. It's not that that can't happen, obviously. It's how most relationships start. You meet somebody and it's friendship or platonic first. Business. Somebody starts to develop feelings. Now they're dreaming about a person, daydreaming, fantasizing. They want to ask you out. You know, they want to cross that threshold. I can feel it though, they don't know how. 
I know, right? You say, well, it's so simple. They just call or text me. Yeah, it's simple when you just put it like that. But if they don't know if you're feeling the same way, it's nerve wracking. Alchemy, see, because I told you. <laughs> That's change. They want to go from friends to something else. And not only that, this connection is evolving and changing organically. That's what it feels like. It feels like it's naturally sort of moving into something deeper than friendship, which can be very confusing for some people, especially masculines. You know, they're just used to having friends, right, or whatever. And then they're like, well, how come I just, this doesn't feel like a friend? And why do I feel like this about them? And oh, my God. I mean, and uh, with the healer card, I'm mean, telling you, take my hand, right, reaching out. They want to reach out. They, they want this to change the status of what, what you're in. They don't know how. Because they don't, they, they can't find the right words. This person's prideful. Maybe even egotistical. Because you can feel them like choked up at the throat. That means they're holding back. It is fear though. It's like a lump in the throat of fear. They don't want to be wrong. Wealth. Yeah, that's amazing. A lot of you guys are attracting in extreme abundance. I mean, June is the month of, of miracles, right? The higher you vibe and the more you align with self, the more you will be a magnet to beautiful, abundant things. There's extreme wealth here for someone. This person could have a lot of money as well, too. You see what's funny, though? It's the same flower in the picture, the friendship flower. You see it in the background? They don't want to be your friend. I laugh when I say that just because it's slightly comical because this has just been ongoing. Like, it's like, bruh, just fucking shoot your shot. It's like, the past couple of days I was listening to Brett Young's Mercy. If you got to take your shot, then take it. And if you're going to break my heart, then break it. They're saying like, have mercy on me because this is torturous. And this is like absolutely insane. I, it I, it got to be one or the other already because we can't keep riding this line of in the middle. Are we going to be friends or are we not? Are you going to fucking come in and break my goddamn heart or are you not? Right? Are, are, is, are you going to take your shot and ask me out? Are you going to ask me out, bro? Like, it's like, it's torturous on both ends because it feels to me like both people feel this uniqueness of this connection. But neither is doing anything about it. The sun, sun on top of which you have the Ten of Pentacles. Again, that's like wealth. It's extreme abundance massive financial support here look at that i mean it's a lot of fucking money you know the the sun card's the happiest card in the entire goddamn deck somebody here's got a lot of money or they're going to be manifesting a hell of a lot of abundance financially and the sun is also the card of truth it's healing it's success someone here is very successful in business and you do have the king of cups bottom of the deck because i mean this is what this person is doing they're sitting there with a lump in their throat, dreaming, daydreaming, fantasizing. And they've kept it to themselves. But with the Ace of Swords here and the Sun, this means that the truth is coming out. The truth is coming out about this connection or how this person feels. If this has been hidden in mystery and murkiness, that's not going to be the case for very much longer. Something here, something is revealed. This King of Cups could very well communicate. Mm, Ten of Cups, I mean, fucking duh. They, they, see, they see it being you. You're the one that they want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. They, they, and that with the Ten of Pentacles is like a long-term financial, excuse me, a long-term committed relationship. But I mean, basically, the Ten of Cups is like the feeling of absolute bliss. It's fairy tale. They want to. They want to grow old with you. They want to spend their life with you. It's this for them. They they've got this feeling of they know it's you. 
but they got to come out with it. I think it's because it's causing like a lot of chaos in their life to keep it to themselves because they're coming, they're becoming misaligned. So it'll affect them body, mind, soul. Yeah, see, they try and like ignore it and then they come rushing right in. The, the Eight of Cups is, you know, walking away from anything that's unfulfilling. But I don't feel like that's what they did. I feel like if they turned their back, it's just because it's like they go, fuck, I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know what to do. And they, they, they turn their back and then it's like an impulsiveness. This Knight of Swords is an impulsive reach out. It's like an impulsive text. It's impulsive. Because Knight of Swords is fast, quick. Like, see, they jump in with the Fool. They just do it. They just do it. Two of Swords. They were fucking literally goddamn indecisive of who, why, what, when, where. They just didn't know what to do. They buried themselves in work to distract them so they don't have to think about it. But I have a feeling no matter what they do, they think about it. They think about you. They're not sure if you see it too. Are you blindfolded? Do you not see it? Because if you don't see it, then they're over here trying to pretend like it doesn't exist because they don't want to be embarrassed or wrong. But you both, see, that's the fucking kicker is you both feel the exact same way. Like, well, if they're not going to say it, I'm not going to say it. Well, if they don't feel that same way, then I'm not going to say it. I feel that way too. But like, you both fucking feel it. The tower, my God, with the ace of fucking pentacles. I mean, the, first of all, that's big bucks, okay? No whammies. This could be moving. This could be career change. It could be sudden moving, sudden career change. You know, the tower is also about like just divine, right? It's, it's unpredictable. It's out of left field. Sudden change is my fucking point. And is there sudden change? I mean, yeah, something definitely ends with the death card, which is Scorpio. But I think what ends here is the end of fucking friendship. This could be like a goddamn offer to go out on a date. And like, you just go out on one coffee date with this person. It's done. It's a done deal. This seals the deal. This offer could be a coffee date. Because coffee date came out. There's something, I mean, I love coffee, right? Like sometimes I can't wait to go to sleep at night to just to get up in the morning to drink my fucking coffee. Like this is no bullshit. Everybody knows I'm a night owl. I'm not a morning person. But like when I wake up at, at whatever time I wake up, honey, I'm a beast. I need coffee. But for me, I love coffee and coffee dates with friends or like I love to go to the bookstore. I love books, right? So me and my baby, we love to go to the bookstore. She loves books too. And we just get coffee or, you know, whatever, a little treat, a little sweet treat, right? And buy books. That kind of shit to me, I would love that as a date or get together. I don't necessarily need to go to this five-star restaurant on a first date. Now, we'll do those things in our life during our course together. Of course, we will, obviously. Uh, there's something really, like, casual yet intimate about, like, going and getting coffee with someone. And and, and it could be fast if it doesn't work out very well. And it could last forever if it does. Because from the coffee date, you guys could go to lunch. You guys could go to dinner after that. And you know what I mean? It can always be extended if need be. But then if it doesn't go so great, it's, okay, bye. See you later. There's, like, this something about coffee i don't know if you both love coffee maybe that's going to end up being your guys thing together you guys are always going to like drink your coffee together or like love to get coffee together. i don't know but the coffee date is screaming in my ear i think they ask you to get coffee or there's something about coffee that's related nine of swords and you know, someone's freaking the fuck out well it's the emperor emperor could be aries energy right but you can see he's big dick energy this is the boss Someone who's a leader, someone who's very alpha. He's not fearful of anything, but look at him, can't sleep at night. Remember, they become misaligned because they're not speaking their truth because it's eating them up inside to be falling in love with a person that they that they can't be with. And they, they're not being honest with themselves or being honest with a person. So someone here is definitely having, they have an awful sleep schedule because they're carrying the weight of this.
you may have both fallen for each other, but neither has neither realized it, neither wants to admit it to themselves, and then this hits you like a ton of bricks. Like, I love them. And there's no logical reason to love them. We haven't even gone on a coffee date yet. Well, but I feel like I love them. We talk about this a lot, that many of us feel like we were born in love. Like, from as children, we just had that feeling like we were, we were in love with a person and we like never like found that person we felt like we were in love with, right? It's still there. And it's like, because for some of you, it's this person that you were in love with when you were born. You were already in love with them from a past life. You reincarnated in love with them. So does it make sense that it is possible to fall in love with a stranger? Sure. But if you look at it like past lifey, they're not a stranger. So you see why we go back to exotic and it being strange and fascinating because it's like, why do I feel like I'm in love with them? Like I care about them so deeply. Like it's weird. Like I have this weird bond with them or something, but they're like a business associate. They're a fucking coworker. They're, they're a friend. Cause it's, cause you buy, cause you were, you guys were born in love with each other already. And it comes from a past life. I think it freaks them out that they, they, that they feel like this so early on. But they're coming to that realization that this is it. This is love. So this is love. Mm -hmm. Three of Wands. They're making a decision. Oh, it's got the chills. They're making a decision. Six of Cups, I told you bitches it was fucking past life. Told you. Six of Pentacles, see that's a worry. Is it reciprocated? Is it fucking mutual? Oh, bro, I'm over here fucking can't sleep at night thinking about them, but what if they were fucking somebody else? What if they're in love with somebody else? It's th this missing link and piece here is both of you don't fucking know for sure that you both fucking feel the same way. But you do because it's, I mean, first of all, it's obvious, but I, I read energy, not just cards. I know it, I can feel it. There it is to confirm it, Six of Pentacles. Giving and receiving, reciprocity, equal balance. You both feel the same way. You just didn't tell each other that yet. You didn't. <clears throat> and it's not just them that's fearful either. <clears throat> you are too. And for those of you that are going to say, I told them and they ghosted me and blocked me. That ain't fucking this then because it would be mutual. Key word there is mutual. Mutual. Fucking power again. Sudden change. Hmm. Whew. sudden change. Let me read what's on the card. Self-asserted upheaval, raw energy, aggression, desire, anger, survival, instinct, impulsive, lust, sudden change, action, aggression, and chaos. They're going to make a sudden impulsive move. And not only that, this changes, the status of this changes very suddenly. But also the tower could be like a massive sudden epiphany, like sudden. Look, bottom of the deck is the garden. It says a date. Meeting a date. They want to fucking ask you out. Their stress look mice. It literally says stress on the card. They're like stressed about it because they don't want it to seem too weird and forward. Little do they know you wish a motherfucker would. You know, so <laughs> we're sitting here going, God damn, every time my phone vibrate, I wish it was this fucker asking me out for coffee. God damn, why aren't they just doing it? But they don't know that you feel like that. They might think that you just want to be friends. And you're not going to go and tell them, 
hey, I just want to let you know, I want to be more than friends. Read the room. Read the room. I'm going to be honest with you. This ain't what you're going to do. We ain't going to do that. It just doesn't feel right. It feels off. That's not to say that in some of your situations, that would be the case and you'd need to do that. In this one, I don't feel that. They need to make the move, the magician. It says here, takes inspired action. It literally says it on the card. Takes inspired action. Ladybug wishes are coming true. Yeah, I bet. June, season of miracles. Grasshopper, leap of fucking faith. <laughs> says luck too. Look at this card, the stars. It says falling in love. I told you, that's, what, that's what's happening here. You're both falling in love with each other, but you both don't know that. You don't know that. Their feelings says prosperity too. Bitch, somebody here is gonna, I mean, you better go play the lottery or some shit. I don't know. You are both falling for the other, but neither of you know that. Isn't this super cute? It's supposed to be like that, by the way. It's a cute skirt from American Eagle. So is this top. If you want to check out the deets of that, I've posted a selfie on my Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. Don't forget, I do lives there. I do readings. Go follow me there. Um, it's, it's just ironic. This is incredible. Both fucking people are pining and yearning for the other, scared, thinking that, that it's unrequited and the other one don't feel the same way. And you both fucking do. But the masculine has to make this move. It's just the way this is supposed to go. It just is. All right, let's get into your extended. Should you wish to rent it, click below this video, the word more. It's gonna bring up all my links. Click on the first one. It's gonna take you to my website, saltwaterhillstarot.com. Go to the extended readings and look for special love slash oracle readings. All right, thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. And I will see you in the extended. Love you.